Hey there. I'm in Tennessee right now and I wanted to take a walk. And normally when I'm away, I don't have a lot of fear around walking in a town or area I'm not used to. But today I had a lot of fear. I don't know why. I think that sometimes as a woman I'm always concerned about my safety, which is a good thing. And I'm walking along this path, y'all. And I've walked past this tree already. And I happen, when I walked past the tree the first time, I had a lot of fear inside. Um, and I was just kind of telling the Lord how anxious I was. And I thought about Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me. Uh, besides still waters or he makes me lie down in green pastures. But anyway, I'm walking past the tree again. And when I walk past it, I look up and I'm like, this is not an ordinary tree. I don't even know what kind of tree it is, but it has these plants on it that are pretty amazing. And I think they've probably bloomed already in a different color or, a, or they're about to bloom. But I would have missed it, you know? I'll put a picture of what it looks like. Let's see if I can turn it around. I can't. See, it looks like an ordinary tree. But it's not, and I'm going to make sure I put a picture in there. One of the things that I thought about immediately was the details. Because God is in the details of our lives. And we can easily miss it because of fear like I missed it because of fear the first time I was so consumed in my fear and so worried and full of anxiety that I missed this treasure that was waiting that was hidden that was camouflaged in because like I said I don't know what type of tree it is but it's spring so so early it could have well, we're in the middle of spring. It could have already bloomed and been turning green. But the fact is, is that it was really beautiful. And I, I almost missed it. I almost missed it. So don't be like me. Don't be full of fear. Uh, full of anxiety. To go down a new path with God. Um, because your fear and anxiety will cause you to miss the details so remember the Lord is your shepherd you shall not want he makes you lie down in green pastures he leads you beside still waters and he restores our soul he leads us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake Even though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For he is with us. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. He prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day.